Hello everyone, and welcome to Night Delivery, another game from developer Chillizart. Now if that sounds familiar, it's because I've played several of their games on this channel before, and they're a developer that has a very interesting philosophy when it comes to games. Now a lot of these games are very simple, very short, usually no more than two hours long, each having multiple endings, and having a sort of mundanity to their premise. Now the first of their games that I played on this channel was called The Convenience Store, and in that game you, as the title implies, worked at a convenience store, and it allowed you to settle into the routine of that job, just waking up and getting ready and coming to work every night, and as you worked, creepy things would happen. And in that way, it established a routine which made the scares stand out all the more when they existed in contrast to that routine. And the rest of their games were similar. In one game you played as, you know, a person commuting on the train every night, and it seems like that's sort of the philosophy that they have when it comes to these games. Uh, this one is titled Night Delivery, so I imagine I'll be some kind of delivery man or something like that. Uh, but enough talking, let's just get into the game. Use mouse and WASD for movement. Press left mouse button to interact. Okay. Now, ooh, what was that noise? It was like a skittering. Uh, but yeah, so something that these games do is a lot of them have this faux VHS effect, which I believe can be turned off in the options. So far, I haven't done it because I kind of feel like that's the intended experience. And they all happen in various degrees, so some of the games have sort of realistic graphics like this, other games have more of a PS1 style. And it's also not running super well. Alright, I've just messed around in my settings, and we'll see if that does anything for me, but as I was saying, they, these games present in sort of this faux retro style that I think is really unique and interesting. I talked a little bit in one of my essay videos about how I think that really does a lot, not just in terms of giving it a visual style that's unique, but... Oh, there's a lot of really creepy noises. Is that just metal squeaking in the breeze, or is that actually something? Oh, I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted from the commentary, but there is a game to be played here. Um, I think it does more than just give the game a unique visual style to set it apart from other games. I think it actually, in a more meta-psychological level, takes you back to a time when it was a lot easier to suspend your disbelief when it came to creepy things and when things like urban legends were allowed to thrive. I wasn't really given any instruction on what I'm supposed to be doing. So I suppose I'll just start clicking on doors. Unless I missed it. As with the other games, I can sprint, but it's a little bit of a pathetic sprint. Although it does seem to be faster than in the other ones. So, okay. I, okay, this is my last stop. I should have figured this out, that I have to get the packages from the truck first. After I deliver these five packages, I'm done for today. Alright, package E. Deliver this package? Sure. Press tab to open your inventory. You can also switch items using your scroll wheel. Okay. So, it closed the doors of the truck, so I suppose I can't actually carry more than one at a time. I bet that's the routine. I bet instead of taking place over multiple nights, uh, the game will probably evolve as I have to take each package to its different location. Uh, but how do I know what's going where? Room 206 package. Okay, so I have to press tab to see it in my inventory. So floor one is the 100, so I have to go up to the second floor. These sounds are mixed in a very spooky way. They all sound like they're right in my ear. It's 202. 203, so I must have to just keep following this row down, and I'll arrive at 206, which should be this one right here. Stop that. Ellipsis. What should I do? Not yet? Knock on door? 
or doorbell intercom. Well, if they go to the effort of putting a doorbell intercom, I figure that's the preferred method, right? Okay, I suppose there's nothing there. Knock on door. Uh, should I just leave this here? Can I see inside? It doesn't look like it. Oh, well, what do I do then? Can I just place it down? Maybe put it through the slot? No, I can't. <laughs> of course, it's a whole package. It's not like it would... Is... Actually, is that slot taped up? This is room 206, right? Room 206 package. Are they all taped up like this? Oh, it looks like it. It looks like that's just the door texture. That's odd. Is there something up with this whole complex? I guess I'll just keep trying. Okay, I guess I just had to not do anything else for a little while. Oh, I did not expect that. I guess he's supposed to be drunk, even though that looks to be a water bottle. You took way too long. Get out of my face. Ah. Rude. Okay, who actually, like, expects packages to be delivered at a specific time during the day? Like, is that a thing? I know sometimes Amazon will tell me that a package is coming on a certain day, and I'll expect it to come within one or two days of that. All right, the doors are back open, which means apparently this is the intended gameplay. All right, package B. I wonder if there's a certain order I'm supposed to be taking these in. I mean, I'm sure I can't go too far off the rails because it's allowing me to choose which one I want, but... Oh, well, all right. Room 502, so that's going to be all the way up on the fifth floor. I'm not sure if I should cut the walk as I go up to these various rooms, or if it's better for the Let's Play to just kind of allow you to experience the whole thing with me virtually unedited. Now, is up here the fifth floor, or did I just pass the fifth floor? This is 301, so how am I getting up top? Does this elevator work? It sounds like it's doing something. Yeah, maybe this will be the only way that I can get up past the third floor. Oh, this is a really cramped and claustrophobic elevator. Do things like... or skittering. Do things like this really exist in Japan? Elevators that are this narrow? Oh, this is actually kind of scary, because if I have to run down from something on the 4th or 5th floor, I'm not going to be able to just run down the stairs. I'm going to have to wait for an elevator. I hope it stays open. Another thing I like about these short experiences is that they're completely unique. This developer has, like, a ton and ton of games on their page on Steam. And so you never really know what to expect from a given game. Most of the time you don't have to run from anything, but sometimes you do. And sometimes those things can kill you. Alright. Uh, doorbell intercom? Hello. Oh, kitty! Oh, that kitty's kind of weird looking, but I love kitty. Okay. Thanks. I have a reward for your great service. Okay, calm down. You love cats, too, don't you? Yes, I do! I do love cats! Taken and be gone. <gasps> oh, you're just giving me the food. Uh, and, and then she slams the door in my face. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Now, it did mention I have a scroll wheel-based inventory, so presumably I'll be able to use this for something later on.
thought I was getting a cat. Not not that I expect her to just give up her cat. She'd be a pretty bad owner if she did that. Honestly, I'm just grateful anytime I get to see a kitty. I was exploring a couple weeks ago. I was exploring an old psych ward. And I saw this adorable kitty just sitting on top of an overturned fridge, and I was so angry that it walked away before I could get a picture. Alright. Who's next? Package C. And now would be the time to check. Okay, so if I do the scroll wheel, I see that the cat food is still in my inventory. So I'll have to keep that in mind. It's not like the ghost train where... Or no, which one was it? Where I had to choose what I was holding. No, that was Inanaki Tunnel. In Inanaki Tunnel, I had to choose what I was holding. All right, room 401. Which means that, once again, we're taking the elevator. I think it'll actually be easier to walk up to the third floor and see if the elevator is still there. No, it's not. Okay, so it doesn't stay where it is between package deliveries. So I'll have to call it every time. So I might as well bring it up from the first floor. Actually, it looks like it might have already been on the first floor by default, because it just came up. See, when it at this low FOV, it kind of looks... When the door opens, it kind of looks like it's opening onto nothing. That's how narrow it is. Because when it opens, I can't see the floor unless I look down. Alright, what did it say? Room 401. I wish this game were running a little better. What is that noise? I feel like we went way farther than... There's something scratching on the roof, and I feel like we went way farther than just the fifth floor. That felt like a lot more than two floors. Hang on, uh, can I get us down to four? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Now I hear more skittering. All right, three. It stopped. There's something about the way that sound is mixed that just sounds like it's either on top of the elevator, or maybe even behind it? What do I do? Can I call the emergency number? No. Maybe try floor five? It stopped again. Please open. I feel like that was taking way too long. Okay, floor, room 401, so I have to walk down from here. Alright, so fourth floor, not working. Fifth floor, working. Whatever this sound is, it's coming from right here. Is it, is it maybe supposed to be something inside the garbage bags making this sound? I don't know, I'm just going to place this. Uh, doorbell intercom. Yes? Hello. I'm scared. Am I the only one? Aren't you scared? This whole place, it's like I'm becoming a part of them. Never mind. Forget about it. Um, here's your package. Oh? Me? I haven't left the room in... I don't know. I stopped counting. Oh, right. You're here for a package. Don't know if I can trust you in your parcel. <laughs> Don't know... Don't know if I can trust you and your parcel just yet. Talk to the priest. 
I can't trust you until you talk to the priest. He says he lives in apartment 105. Oh, that is my new favorite quote. Don't know if I can trust you and your parcel yet. <laughs> Don't know if I can trust you and your parcel yet. Oh. <laughs> if I wanted to be really cringe, I would say that to, to the next like FedEx guy that shows up. All right, in order to get down, I'm gonna have to take the elevator back. I feel like in this situation, I would probably just leave the package on the doorstep. But we're starting to gather- oh, sorry, I was distracted from the spooky by- I don't know if I can trust you and your parcel yet. Oh, that's like one of the funniest things I've ever heard already. Okay. Talk to the priest in 105. But yeah, it's starting to seem like there's something really wrong with this whole complex. Granted, I was starting to gather that the people are maybe justly angry at me because they open the door in the middle of the night and I'm shining a beam of flashlight into their face. Uh, what should I do? Doorbell intercom. I just got an achievement titled Intercom. Hi. Oh! Oh! Oh, I was not expecting that face, and he is not at all correctly proportioned. Do you mean to tell me this is a priest? Tisk. Yep, this is a priest. Huh? I see Mishiru sent you here. Yeah, the Michelin man sent me here. I'm the local priest. Say no more. I can sense the package is cursed. <laughs> this place is just... I'm not scared. Guys, I'm not scared. This place is comedy gold. I can sense that the package is cursed. But I need to make an offering first. Before I can perform any sanctification on the object. Monetary, that is. Uh, I need cash. This is, this game is pure comedy so far. Okay, this guy needs cash. None of this is my responsibility. Okay, where am I going to get cash? Do I have to maybe pick up another package and... Ooh, bottle of water. I can pick this up. Do you accept water? It's the one the guy threw from his apartment. Okay, so I guess... I have to either go back and deliver more packages until somebody gives me a cash reward or like a tip or something or I have to scour this whole place looking for cash. I feel like this is not my job at all. Kitty! This kitty right here, I bet I have to use the cat food on you! Okay, and now I can... Open this. Okay, I bet I wouldn't have been able to open this because the kitty was there. It's always funny when you solve a puzzle before you even realize that there is a puzzle. Can I pet the kitty? No, I can't, I can't pet the beeper. <laughs> also, the can doesn't appear to be open. Alright, what's this? Koai, how are you doing? How's the new apartment? In the previous apartment, you had to move because the residents weren't so kind to you. Is it okay this time? Before, there were people who made a fool of themselves about disabilities and welfare, right? I said it many times before. You weren't the bad one. Don't blame yourself. And don't be impatient about getting a job. You're my son. You'll be okay. Things will get better. Mom. Okay, can I take that with me? No. Oh, I can open all of these. Oh, nope, just those two. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. I'm gonna put these down so that I can see the kitty. But what else do I have to do then? Stop! It plays every time and it gets me every time. Okay, so the truck hasn't opened, so it's not gonna let me move on until after I've delivered this package. Which I can't deliver until after I've had it blessed by the priest. Who won't bless the package until after I find him some cash. So... What I need to do is just kind of uh, walk around and explore every dark crevice surrounded by all these cursed sounds that sound like they're right in my ear so that I can find the cash to bless the box to deliver to the guy 
and find the crown and save the town and Mr. Krabs. Oh, it is so dark. I can't see anything, and this flashlight is absolutely pathetic. Ah! Helsing Game Energy. I, is that in my inventory? No. I, I don't know what that did for me. Actually, I think I saw something on the main menu about cans. So maybe it's... What? That sound literally sound like some, sounded like somebody tapped the back of my headset. I am going to be very deeply disturbed if I go to edit this later and the sound does not appear in the game's audio. But it looks like there's another can. Yeah, I thought I... Yeah, I thought I saw something on the main menu about cans, which would indicate that maybe these are some type of collectible. As for what they do, I'm not sure. Probably nothing more than an achievement. Uh, but let's look around and see what we can find. Okay, so this is the... I really don't like the way the sounds are mixed in this game. Actually, realistically mixed sounds are one of my gaming phobias. But yeah, it told me... You won't do anything without cash. This is the area under the stairs. And there's another can! I like the little sound that plays when you pick them up. It's really satisfying. Yeah, that sound seems to just be attached to this area by the elevator. Uh, so yeah, I really don't know what else I can do except search all these back areas with this pathetically dim flashlight and try to find some cash to give to the guy. Again, totally not my job. What is this? Oh, it's some kind of playground? With a sandbox. Okay, I'm a little disturbed by the method in which I first saw this animal and how it was staring directly at me when I looked like Hannibal Lecter, but... At the same time, that is one cute pupper. Is that for me? No. Oh. I bet it's gonna want some... Ah, oh, water! You're thirsty! Okay. I have no problem stretching out my job a little longer to feed and... to feed the cute animals that are hanging out around here. Kai, have you got used to the new environment? You said you were doing your best to get along with everyone in the apartment. Did you get along well? I know that you're very kind. I hope other people can feel that too. Start with one person first. Also, it's okay to work slowly. You tend to think pessimistically. Try to think positive. By the way, how's the dog? Aikichi, was it? Show me the dog next time, okay? This is the most incredibly wholesome mom ever. Oh, pupper. I assume you're Aikichi? Well, Aikichi, I imagine you don't have any cash on you, so I'll have to be on my way. Oh, there's that sound again. Actually, it almost kind of sounds like rattling a can full of change. Am I supposed to mug this ghost? Wait. That wasn't behind me before. No, that wasn't behind me before. I came down this way. This object, whatever it is, just appeared. Okay, I think we're officially getting into spooks territory now. I can't climb this, so there's probably nothing that I'm supposed to find in... Is this a slide? I can't even tell. It's so dark. Okay, so... I'm finding all these letters scattered about from a mother to her son. I imagine that's going to have something to do with the story of this place. So what do we know? We know this person moved from their old apartment to this one uh, because they weren't being treated well. Okay, now I've kind of looked all over and... I've kind of found nothing but these collectible cans. Where am I supposed to get cash? I 
At this point, I have nothing else in my inventory aside from this... Uh, okay. I don't know if that was intended to be a jump scare, but it seems like that guy just took off with that dog. Maybe I'm supposed to run after them and see what they have to say? Or... I'm being led into a jump scare. I know I'm on the right track because it's it deliberately stopped me from going back the way I came. I think I'm supposed to follow them. And of course they've gone down this dark alley. I can only see what the moonlight is illuminating. The splashlight is honestly useless. And now this obstruction is removed. Okay, so I've run in a big circle, but I didn't find that guy or the dog. Actually, I just realized, yeah, this is, I think this is a bike that was previously in the path blocking me. Now, it could just be a reused asset, but this guy would have seen the whole thing. Did he see anything? Nope, this guy still wants cash, just standing there with his mouth open like some kind of weird fish. Ooh, a can. Yeah, I'll just steal that from somebody's basket. And another one? I, j I just don't know what else to do. Maybe I should go back and ask that guy. Maybe he'll give me some cash to perform the sanctification. So what did we have to do? We had to go to the fifth floor. But then I had to go down to room 401 to see that guy. And maybe he'll give me some cash for the sanctification. You spoke to the priest? Directly? How lucky you are. I've only exchanged words through the door intercom. So he needs money? Why, of course. What the priest says is always right. Here, give this to him. Make sure to give it to him ASAP. I don't want the priest to be waiting any longer. You know, for as unintuitive as that was, I feel like I'm still kind of the fool in this situation. Because I was the one abandoning my delivery job to scrounge around for loose change and feeding animals when I probably should have just gone to that guy directly from the start. I feel like that rattling is significant. I feel like there's more to that rattling than just random map sound effects because it's pervasive. It's everywhere I go. And also, I just know at some point... I just know at some point these doors are going to open up and there's going to be something right there. I, I, I've been distracted by the unintentionally funny dialogue and the cute animals, but... This game really has crafted kind of an eerie atmosphere that makes me really curious to see where it's going to go. Okay, I got your cash. Let me double check the amount. Did you ever even give me an amount? Wait, what? This can't possibly be enough. Does Mishru really think he can get away with this? Okay. So I'm no theologian. But I'm pretty sure teething hasn't been a thing for, like, a long time. This isn't enough. Ask Mishru to bring me more. Oh my god. Do you guys not have phones? Alright, open up. Once again, not my job. Meanwhile, I have other packages just sitting in the back of this truck. And it seems very late. It seems like I would be very eager to get home at this point. This is cutting into my free time now. I don't know if it works in Japan the way it does in the US, but delivery drivers are kept on some very strict deadlines that are actually kind of unfair to them. Like, they're almost kind of impossible at times. And it's their responsibility to get it delivered in time, even if it's, again, not really possible. What? It wasn't enough? Forgive me, priest. 
I hope this much will help. This is all I've got for this month. I have to ask my parents to give me more. Okay, so we got a Class A Neat right here. Although, to be totally honest, I really shouldn't throw stones in that regard. I've never had, like, an honest-to-God real job. Like, I mean, YouTube is pretty good. Like, YouTube's been very good to me lately, but... Before that, like, the only real work that I've done was off the books. Mostly, uh, before the pandemic, I was working in, uh, I was in, like, event and stage videography. Where we would come in and shoot the shows and then bring them home and I would do the editing. And that was pretty fun. Let me double check the amount. Wait. Oh, that's enough. Barely, that is. I hate this guy so much, even more than the guy that threw a bottle at me. I'll forgive him this time. Let us begin the ritual. I feel like there's a commentary being made here on religion and collecting donations. Everybody else just saw the little spaz out he did, right? Done. Whew. Now go away. <laughs> ah, I hope the ghost eats him and his stupid bloated fish face. Alright. I guess it's time to finally finish this delivery. I believe there were two or possibly three packages still left. Now, other Chillizart games have had multiple endings. And I imagine this is no different. Usually what I do is I try to get both endings so that I can show you guys both of them. Or sometimes there's even more than two endings. In a couple of games, there's been three or four endings. These games are really interesting in that way. They're short, and they're only a couple of dollars, but they do encourage replayability in that way. Some of them more so than others. I feel like some of them kind of earn their multiple endings, and they kind of deserve to have multiple playthroughs. Others, I feel like it's just kind of a... Others, I feel like it's just kind of padding to extend the value of the game, at least in some people's eyes. Forgive me, priest. I'm ready to take the package now. Now go away. You know, I'm kind of starting to think that guy's not even a priest. I'm... <laughs> if I were him, I feel like that would be a pretty good racket. Just tell people you're a priest and that every package that they order is cursed. And they're going to have to give me a couple of bucks for everything they order. Something that this game is doing very, very well, and again, it would probably be hitting me more if I hadn't been distracted by the dialogue and the animals. This game does craft a very nice atmosphere, and it's something that I feel like the convenience store did very well also. I believe this is what some would call the after-hours aesthetic. And, you know, it's this... It's this apartment building that sort of has the motel feel. It's lit by these only occasional lights, but otherwise it's totally dark out. It's dead, there's nobody around. And you just hear the sounds of the metal just kind of twisting in the wind and the wind going over the building. It's, it's somewhat calming at the same time as creepy. It's almost more calming than creepy. And that's kind of the vibe that I live for. But anyway, we have a job to do. Let's pick up the very next package. Package D. Now where are we taking you? Uh, what just happened? I pressed tab and... Oh, I see. That's how I scroll through my inventory. I guess it just bugged out and started out on an object that doesn't exist. Room 305, so we're heading up to the third floor. Stop. I'm not I'm not even gonna give it the opportunity to spook me in the elevator. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk up the stairs. Now what was it? Room 305. Wait, haven't we been to 305 already? Or was that 205? That's down there. We've been to one of the 05s. Alright, let's try the intercom. That seems to have served me well so far. Oh, this is 306. Okay, 305. Hello? Hmm. 
Now, I thought I heard one single footstep. Oh, boy. I gotta say, even with very little buildup, because of how non-tense I've been this whole time, this has actually placed me back in my childhood mindset where I just wasn't able to play horror games because I didn't want to move forward. I legitimately don't want to move forward right now. I feel like the right thing to do would be to just place the package on the thing right here and close the door on my way out. Oh, it is so dark. I'm wondering if I should maybe edit this just so you can see a little better. I just heard a door close as well. Uh can't walk forward. Should I just place this on the... I don't know what triggered that. I'll be right there. Uh... I said... Oh! 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 Oh my god. <sighs> Here, here's your freaking package. Oh my god. Hey, what are you doing? That package, it's a bed frame. You're gonna help me build it, right? Build it yourself. That's not my job. That package, it's a bed frame. You're gonna help me build it, right? Uh, okay, we're just doing all kinds of things that aren't my job today. This is not the kind of thing that I should be agreeing to do. Oh, well, thank you for helpfully marking on the ground where it goes. Set up the bed frame. Okay. Can I, like, go home, please? Okay, it doesn't seem like I can interact with it. Where'd you go? That scared the absolute. Where did she go? Oh, it is so dark. I can't see anything. Is there not a light switch that I can turn on or something? Again, I can barely see, but it looks like there's something dripping from the ceiling. Hang on, can I increase my brightness? Because I, I honestly feel like you're not going to be able to see anything. Yeah, I've just put it up a fair bit, because otherwise you're not going to be able to see a thing. A cutscene! And something just clicked behind me. Uh, can't open this. Don't like this at all. Would that be coming from the apartment above? That would be 405, right? I thought I just saw something move, but that might have been the way that I came out. I was not too I was not too scared by this game, but it's turned that around real fast. Hello? What is going on with this bathroom? This is not a structure that I've seen before. I don't want to step out of the apartment. I feel like something is going to happen when I do. Can we close this door, please? Right. I'm just gonna get out of here and... Oh, but I feel like I should check on apartment 405 before I do anything else. 
I'll have to take the elevator. I honestly don't like having my back to that open door, though. And the fact that the door remained open after I left kind of makes me feel like... It kind of makes me feel like I should still have something to do in there. Uh, this went from comfy to spooky in a real hurry. I mean, honestly, it still is kind of comfy, but... The majority comfy share has been outdone by the majority creepy share at this point. That jump scare is honestly still affecting me. Okay, head down. 405 would be the apartment directly above hers. No, 404, yes. Okay, I do have the opportunity to... No, I don't have the opportunity to click this on my own, so... I have a feeling one of the next packages is going to be this. And we're going to find the source of that blood drip. Now, in these Chill's Art games, the reason I mention that apartment still being open is because missing things... There's that bike again. Missing things can mean getting the bad ending. Or it can mean nothing at all. It's... you never know. Which is why I try to be thorough when I play these games. Alright, package A. It's the only one left, and I'm sure that the intended spot for delivery is going to be 202, not even 405. But I couldn't help but notice that it did it did give me the option, or at least the indication that at some point I would be able to open 405. I'm, the, I'm definitely not going to end this game without checking that out. 202. Doorbell intercom. Uh, hello. Hi. Oh, no, 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 don't leave, baby. My baby. You have to help me catch him. <laughs> Again, not my job, but... Baby! Come back, baby! Oh, where would he have gone? <laughs> so something about the way that came out of my mouth just reminded me of the Dave Chappelle sketch. Baby! Oh, but where would I even look? It could have gone anywhere. You know what? I I bet the baby would have gone to the playground. I gotta say, that was one fast baby. Alright, are you here? In the sandbox, maybe? Baby, did you bury yourself in the sandbox? No, you're not here. That's... Okay, if there was ever an intuitive place to chase a baby to... Ooh, another can. If there was ever an intuitive place to chase a baby to, it would be the playground, would it not? Just found another can. Where could this baby be? Under the stairs, maybe? No? Ooh, but another can. And at this point, I've collected three cans and found zero babies during this search. Lady, in all seriousness, we do have a real problem here, so if you maybe want to jump in and help at any point. Okay, so the door to 305 is closed now. But I still can't find this baby. I was really worried that he was going to have run into there. And yet another can, but still no baby. Oh, and another one. But, yeah, that sucks about that baby, though, right? Only thing I can think to do now is to try the upper floors. <gasps> what was that? What was that? You can kind of see inside the apartment. 
Oh, that caught me so off guard. I didn't even get a good look at whatever that was. Oh my god. Doesn't look like I can do anything though, and I'm fine to not investigate that further. I can't think of anything else to do. Except to go see what's going on with 405, and... I don't think that's 405, though. That's 403. But presumably this is where I'm supposed to go. What are these pictures on the walls? I hear footsteps. I hear, like, walking around. I don't like this at all. I just, after, the, after that other apartment, I just have no idea what to expect. And that scare that we just had, are those pictures of a fridge? Oh, the drone of dread has kicked in. This apartment is haunted. Lamenting the loss of its fridge. What kitchen, after all, is complete without a fridge? Okay, nothing in the bathroom. This door won't open. And there's the source of the blood stain. I really feel like I shouldn't be here. There's a strange gurgling sound coming from this stain, which seems a lot more black than red. But I don't know where else I can go. I feel like I'm being corralled right now. Okay, so this opens up back to here. Wait, does that make sense? Yeah, I suppose it does. Why is it giving me a different message for this door in particular? Okay, something spooky is about to happen for sure. But what? I'm not sure what I did that for, or what that did for me, or why my character would think to do that. Is there something there? I think there's something there in that doorway that wasn't there before. Still can't open that door. Oh, it's just a... <laughs> It's just a little table with a phone on it. But what do I do? I can't leave. I, I am officially penned in here. So what do I do? This door keeps closing behind me. What am I meant to do? All I did was push the pot off the railing. Maybe I have to look around for a key or something? Uh, this door opens now, but I have to be standing right here in order for it to open. What is all this? One more picture? Is that the sound of a baby crying? Oh. Now there's even more of them. What changed? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Hello? <laughs> okay, this, this swung back to comedy real quick. Can I 
toddler. Yes, you are actually an in you are actually an inventory item. All right, come on, little boy. I'll keep you safe. It was nice of the ghosts to open the door for me as well. All right, let's go. I hear you bang banging. Hello? Open window? Uh, sure. Oh, I think that's. Okay, I'll I'll deal with you later, number four oh two. But uh, right now I gotta return this toddler to his master. But yeah, okay, I'll remember that four oh two. I think that might have been the guy that ran away with the dog earlier. Maybe that's the character that was talked about in the letters. Okay, where were you living, baby? Floor two. Let me just push your head through this elevator door so that you can see what we're getting into. What do you see, baby? You and I were going to make a great team, I can tell. No. 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 I'm not holding the baby anymore. What happened? Where, what was that? I swear I just saw something through the glass. Like a face or something. And in this short, in this small space, the flashlight is almost blinding, which I can't turn off. I get the feeling that baby was not on my team at all. What is this? Is that? That's my delivery truck. What's the source of this light? That alley isn't even there anymore. Okay, we are officially... Oh, and there's a set of... There's a system of ladders just all up the whole building. Okay, we are officially not in Kansas anymore. Money. Those are some giant bills. 10,000 yen? It's all the packages again. Do I have to deliver all of them again? Only this time they're not labeled. This time they're not labeled as packages A through E. They're labeled as with their room numbers. Okay. I wonder if there's an actual puzzle here. I wonder if maybe I'm supposed to remember the order that I delivered them in. in order to get a certain ending. See, that's the thing about these Chillizard games, is that they actually make me paranoid about every little thing. You kind of have to anticipate what the game wants you to do in order to know what ending you're even going to get. I think we started with room 206. Oh, that's getting louder and louder. Climb up. I believe we started with room 206, but... I can't get over there from here. There's dividers even within... even within the floors. So how do I get to 206? Not from here. Maybe... Okay, maybe if I were on the second floor, I could take that ladder up to the third floor? And then that other ladder back down to the second. Okay, so I can probably... I can probably puzzle it out that way, if that's how it works. And this will take me up to the third floor. Now, if I'm correct about this... No. Because there's a divider right here. So what happens... If I do this, that should take me up to the fourth floor. And then, no, these dividers are making it real inconvenient. Uh, okay, so I bet if I come up here... I can then come over here, take this ladder down... And then take... what floor are we on? Fourth? And then take this ladder down... And then take this ladder down. And then we'll be at room 206. Diary 
four. At night, Mr. Takeo in room 206 was carrying a box filled with beer cans. I said, do you mind me helping? Why the F are you trying to help? If you have time to help, you shouldn't be on welfare. You're just a burden to, to society, said Mr. Takeo. What? I wonder if people around me think that way. I'm willing to bet that the author of that letter is the person that was talked about in the other letters that we found around. And this is how the different people in the apartment building have mistreated him. Alright, so I just realized I've probably been wasting a lot of time. I can probably pick up all of these at once, yeah. Okay. So, what's next? 202 would probably be the easiest thing to get to. So if we head up this ladder, 202 should be just on... Uh, nope, it had to go and make it complicated. But we have 202, 401, 305, and 502. So if we see any of those along the way, we'll stop at them first. So over there is 401. So we have to go up and then down. And then we can deliver this package to 401. And 502 should be up top as well. Diary 5. I thought I could get along with Mishiro-san in room 401 since we were close in age. I've never seen him out of his room. I decided to visit him. He finally came out the third time. I don't think anyone can get along with someone like you, he said. That's it. And the door closed immediately. Next up should be 502. Diary 2. Today I gave a cat can to Erica in room 502. I also have a dog, so I wish I could get along well. She told me I was disgusting, but I believed there were no bad people who love animals. I was hurt, but... Next delivery, room 305. Wait, what, what, which diary 3? Arisa, or Arisa, in room 305, is a student. She's also a part-timer at the nearest convenience store. I can tell she's a hard worker, and I respect that. When I thought she wouldn't say hello when we passed each other for the first time this morning, she said, Are you stalking me, you ugly- Oh my god, these people are horrible. I wasn't stalking. Okay, what's left? All that remains is room 202. 202, last one. Diary 1. The baby was walking outside this morning. He's adorable. That is Mariko's child in room 202. As soon as Mariko noticed me looking at her son, she grabbed her son and took him inside the house. Please stay away from my son. Am I like a germ to her? But now what? That was all five, but what do I do now? All that's left now is money. I have to either bring it to the priest, or... Maybe... Maybe it wanted to tell me something with room 402? Earlier, when I had to, had to answer the knock on the window, maybe that's his apartment. No, there's nothing I can do with it. I don't think there's anything I can do except head back down. What about you, sir?
Was I... Why do I get the feeling I was supposed to deliver the cash first? This morning, I saw Yakichi in room 105 walking. He seems to be a priest, and I thought he was a kind person, so I went to talk. What is the weak person doing? I don't want to see it just useless without money. Never show up in front of me ever again, he said. Maybe he was in a bad mood. Okay, dog. Well, it looks like I can finally take the elevator. See, I don't think he's a real priest. But it sort of makes me wonder if maybe I wasn't supposed to take the cash and give it to him first so that he can bless the packages before I deliver them. Now the question is, where do I go? I got to imagine there are right and wrong answers here. Floor four. I'm going to go see if he's not in his room. No? Five? Three? Two? One? Ah! Oh! What was that? What was that? Baby? Oh my god. That was so loud that I literally just ripped the headset off my head. That was so loud that I'm probably going to have to turn the volume down when I edit this video. Oh my god. That baby's looking awfully pale. And it's no longer listed as toddler. Hello? I just got the achievement package delivery. Based on the paleness of that baby. I don't think this is over yet. What if I... Well, I can tell from the garbage clipping through there that this is happening. I'm not going to leave yet. Where, where was that guy in? Was he in room 402? I'm going to see if we can't visit him first. It was room 402. Oh, right, I forgot. There's a bunch of garbage in the way. All right, never mind. Floor 5. Maybe that's how this game determines whether you get your good or bad ending. Maybe if I can go over there and show that guy some kindness, maybe it'll... Maybe it'll grant me the good ending. Four oh two. It was 402, right? Oh, I hope I'm not about to get the bad ending just because I couldn't remember what room it was. 404. Okay, there's an indicator like I'm supposed to do something here, but there's nothing in my inventory. Yeah, I'm just searching all over to try and... Ooh, another can! Oh, kitty. Yeah, I'm just searching all over to try and make sure that I didn't miss anything. I couldn't help but notice that on room 404... What is this? The key to room 404. Hang on, what is the Mailbox key 404. Okay. Uh, I think I saw a mailbox at the front. I almost forgot that I knocked over that pot. Over here. Mailbox key, room 404, right here. Koai, hang on, wait. I need to find an angle that I can look at this from where I can actually read this. Koai, are you okay? I haven't heard from you recently, so I wrote a letter again. You tend to get depressed since you were a kid, easily. 
don't care too much about your disability. I'm worried. Sometimes the depression accumulates and explodes. You're kinder than anyone I know, and remember that I'm proud of you. Call me any time if anything happens. Dad and I will always be on your side. Work. You don't have to force yourself to work, you know. By the way, Grandma wants to see your face. Come back home sometimes, okay? I feel so bad for this guy. I wonder... Maybe now I can go visit? There's one more package. Deliver this package, yes or no. Yeah. Room 404. That's what I thought. Delivery for room 404? Oh, we're still doing horror. We're still doing horror. Welfare document. Let's check everywhere first. I'm not expecting a happy outcome right now. And there's that fridge. That's a person. I can still walk. I can still walk. That means I'm just in the dark. All right. The delivery man decided to leave the place. He knew what had happened at Nakayoshi apartment. I went to the local police. He told what happened to the police in detail. What the police saw there was that brutal corpse. Police had decided early on that he had committed suicide. The landlord was taken and questioned by the police. Nakayoshi apartment, which lost the residence and landlord who protect the house, changed its appearance and name. I'm still waiting for people to come. Ending 1 Okay, and here's the credits. So that was night delivery, and... Yeah, that just encapsulates what these Chillis Art games are all about. It's just these, you know, you pay a dollar or two and you get these short little horror experiences that each kind of have their own mechanics, so you never really know what to expect from them. This one didn't really do the routine thing so much as, uh, uh so much as the convenience store in The Ghost Train did. Even though it did give you kind of a mundane job that you were doing, it kind of started with the spooks almost immediately. Now, it pretty much explained what it was that actually happened here, but what I am a little bit more ambiguous on is the is the paranormal side of it. Like, was this guy's ghost trying to kind of show me, an outsider, what happened here? And, like, exactly what caused him to do this. But then again, there's got to be more to it. Because, like, you know, you can't kill yourself and stuff yourself into a fridge. Like, how does that work? But maybe you're not supposed to think too deeply about it. Maybe you're not actually supposed to dig into the mechanics of the how or why. Because something that I've noticed in Japanese storytelling is that a lot of the time you're not really supposed to pay so much attention to whether or not it makes sense. You're supposed to just kind of allow yourself to feel it and feel the beats of the story and just kind of let it just kind of let it tell you what it wants to tell you to let it deliver its message 
In the way that feels the most right, rather than the way that makes the most sense. Now, because of the slower pace, I am kind of having a hard time speaking eloquently on this and organizing my thoughts about it. But suffice to say, I really enjoyed that. It had a nice, eerie, and comfy vibe throughout, which is something that I've come to expect from these Jill's Art games. And the scares, for as much as I talked about how it wasn't really spooking me for the first half, I thought that the scares were very, very well done and very well paced. If you enjoyed my playthrough of this game, I definitely recommend that you go ahead and check out the other videos that I've done on games from this developer. Those will be The Ghost Train, Inanaki Station, and The Convenience Store, which will be at a playlist that I link in the description. And also remember, if you like this video, to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. But before I go... How did I do on this can collecting? Huh. Actually, from the look of it, I missed most of them. Wow, a bunch of these must be really well hidden. Why am I feeling completionist energy for this game? <laughs>